So on today's episode of Recommendations from My Shelf, I wanted to do a book that was in a genre that uh, is very different from all of the previous books that I've mentioned. I'm actually a huge fan of biographies, um, especially if you, it's an autobiography from the author themselves or the subject of uh, the book themselves. I find it really interesting to dive deep into a specific uh, medium or industry or genre through the eyes of that person. It's something that I just find very intriguing and engaging. Uh, and with all that being said, the book I'm talking about today is A Lion's Tale by Chris Jericho. Now, this isn't just your typical uh, pushed out the door pro wrestling autobiography um, with a ghostwriter who can just get this thing done. Uh, Peter Thomas Fornatail was employed to help Chris Jericho craft this book the way he wanted, but in an actual um, introduction from Peter Thomas Fornatail in this book, he mentions that this writing is Chris Jericho's and that he was there to merely make sure that it was edited properly. So you're really getting the voice of the author and getting to travel with him in the passenger seat. And what I thought was really cool and interesting about this uh, pro wrestling biography specifically was that it um, really had a cool format to it. So Chris Jericho uh, has been all over the world and he has been wrestling professionally for an extremely long time. But I like the format because it adds a lighthearted aspect to it that you don't always see. Uh, if anyone were to come to me and ask for a book to learn either A, about professional wrestling or they just want an interesting autobiography that sort of teaches them about an industry that they may not be familiar with, I would recommend this book. I would recommend it to anyone who just enjoys almost like a big road story. And that's what's really fascinating. So what is the formatting? Well, in this book, he breaks down his journey by different areas. So I'll give you kind of an example here, is that he actually breaks it down by the different territories that he went to. For instance, you'll see here an illustration that talks about, you know, part five, Germany. Or for instance, when he goes to uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, which is probably my favorite and the most hilarious part in the book, it has um, specifically uh, that as a section. So it's broken down like a big road story. For instance, here's Japan. And the cool part is that he has been to so many different places, he can truly say he's been around the world. It's not like he just went uh, to the US and Europe and that was it. I mean, he's been to countries on just about every continent. It's really fascinating. And the big road story leads to him finally actually making it. Uh, so it almost has in some ways that Hollywood, uh, I made it as a star type of vibe too. It really touches a lot of different points on the journey of a protagonist that you would really want. It's very easy to root for Chris Jericho because in this book, um, he's very humble, he's very witty, he's very entertaining. Uh, and most of all, he comes across as just a great guy who's courageous and wants to live his dream. Uh, there's not any weird condescending tones or um, you know malicious attacks on other people that, that he works with. The book is generally uplifting, entertaining, and really enlightening. It's very fascinating to see everything that he went through to get to where he was and to follow him along the way is just a lot of fun. Like I said, it really feels like you were in the passenger seat with him driving on his journey uh, throughout the world. It almost feels like um, if there was a movie with starring Bruce Campbell uh, driving down the road uh, as a professional wrestler living out his dreams. I mean, it really feels like that, but in literary form. And the best part is this is a true story. Uh, this is real. And if you end up picking up this version, this is the first edition, so I don't know how much has changed now, but he actually has a ton of photos in the book as well. This was pretty common for professional wrestling autobiographies and then it bled over into sports autobiographies, but he has a ton of photos uh, of his time. And it's really impressive to me that he actually took this many photos and had this many photos. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had this many photos of all the fun stuff I did growing up, but when you paw through this book, you really feel that. There's even some fun pieces uh, from advertisements uh, <laughs> during his time in Mexico, uh, where he had talked to like a magical frog. It's fascinating. Again, it's uh, unlike honestly, any other professional wrestling book um, 
or professional wrestling uh, autobiography because he really has been everywhere and he covers a huge span of time. So you get the 90s and you get the 2000s. Um, it's really interesting to have someone who has been to so many places and experienced so many things and to get to be there with him. Uh, and like I said, it is truly in his voice. So you get the humor and the wit with it. And what's also cool um, for people who are not necessarily uh, professional wrestling fans is that the book is not written in a way where you feel that you have to understand a ton of terms or uh, terminology. Um, but also if you are a fan, he doesn't really um, spend an incredible amount of time over explaining. The book really gets to the point and you can see from the size of it, I mean, it's not a huge book. Uh, the pros have a lot of brevity and humor. Uh, it's very well done and very well edited, which is a huge plus. Um, I would highly recommend this to anyone looking for, uh, even if you're not interested in autobiographies, if you want a big road story, a how I made it story, if you enjoy sports uh, autobiographies, you would probably like this. Or honestly, if you're a fiction reader who enjoys a hero's journey, uh, his world in professional wrestling is so unique and obscure and he meets all these very outlandish characters that you could easily see this being uh, a fictional comedy book uh, of a hero's journey as well. Um, for instance, if you're a fan of like the Bard's Tale uh, games and you like that style of journey, you may actually enjoy this book because it's sort of this fun, witty, unlikely hero who rises above everything to truly make it in a very bizarre and unique world. Uh, there's not many stories like this. Now, I will admit many professional wrestling autobiographies do fall into the sort of how I started, how I made it. Um, but there's something about the formatting going around to the different places around the world uh, all the different pictures and the uh, specific instances and the timeline that make it feel unique for uh, a very interesting, uh, or sorry, make it feel unique in a very interesting way, which is really cool. Um, an example is, for instance, when he gets to the part where he goes to Japan, um, he actually sort of has a flashback to earlier because he had gone to Japan earlier, but because of the format of him traveling around the world, he kept things in order. And that actually makes the book much better for it. It makes it better that he did sort of that travel back. It makes um, a unique story piece that not many autobiographies employ. It is very special. Um, I think you could find this thing just about everywhere. Used bookstores, I'm sure, have it. Um, but if you're looking for either hardback or paperback copies, it's not very difficult to find on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or anywhere else. It's a very easy book to access. Uh, but again, if you're looking for something that covers those types of topics I talked about, Hero's Journey, uh, Big Road Story, uh, Comedic Biography, Sports Biography, really it covers um, a lot of different readers. And I think that anyone who reads it will be surprised at how much they enjoy it. I would also say for someone who is um, a big biography reader, even if you don't necessarily read biographies in this genre, I think you'll like it because if you're a fan of biographies like me, I think sometimes you notice that the portion when they're younger can take really long. And while I don't mind hearing about somebody's upbringing, sometimes it's like, okay, I get it. You were a kid, everyone thought you were special, you know, you were destined for great things and uh, you know, everybody loved you, let's move on. Um, what's fascinating more is when people actually dive into um, the actual journey of making it in the industry that they want to make it in. And this book does a good job at keeping that portion of the book um, very on point, very specific, and move very quickly. Uh, so that way you don't feel like you're slogging through a bunch of content to get to the good stuff. It really dives right into the great content. So with all that being said, if you would like to read a book uh, like the one I mentioned here, then I would recommend A Lion's Tale by Chris Jericho off of my shelf.